All right, welcome back to One Bar and Lupagus. Show them One Bar with Lupagus. We got to talk 49ers, Vikings, final injury report. Who's in, who's out? Before we get to that, remember, this is powered by Bet U. S 150% bonus on your first three deposits up to 2000 bucks with the code YouTube 150 at YouTube 150. So head over to bet us, take advantage of that fastest payouts, fantastic customer service, and just a ton of stuff that you can go on. So uh, we're going to be looking at, uh, we, we both know that we're both probably going to pick the Vikings. Vikings, I think they're six point underdogs. We're going to look at a different team. I want to know who you would pick, but first let's start talking about these trades. Let's start with the Niners. Yeah, let's hop into the Niners right now. And uh, where is it here? Right, I got so it. I got it right here. Um, quite, D, D. Winters was limited today. He is questionable. Backup and, linebacker doesn't matter. Telling no Hufanga, my boy is doubtful. He's not playing in the big one. The big news: Christian McCaffrey, star running back, MVP candidate, out. He's out. He's not going to play against the Vikings. He's not going to play. We're going to talk about that. But first, Hufunga. So if Hufunga is out, George Odom. George Odom is the man Ooh. that's going to be taking his I, – I don't know. I mean, maybe he's he's going to have a hell of a game. I don't know anything about George Odom. I'll take him <laughs> over Hufunga any day. Uh, but like you said, the big news is McCaffrey is out. Jordan Mason comes in coming yeah. off of that buck 50 and a score. Uh, not like – I mean, it doesn't make me feel that much better. We shut down McCaffrey last year. We did, we did, and, and yeah, Jordan Mason, he looked like the real deal, running hard. Uh, the, the guy we scolded with, he was saying, you know, he's Marshawn Lynch 2.0 is what he is, and uh, yeah, uh, so it, obviously Christian McCaffrey out is a, bu- is a plus for the Vikings, but it's not like, you know, Jordan Mason's an easy task here to stop either. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what this Vikings uh, can do against the run. Week one, we had Devin Singletary. Not much of a real challenge. We're definitely going to be challenged this week. Uh, before we get into the Vikings' final injury report, I want to know, I want to go right to the Colts and Packers. So this is on Bet US. Yeah. Remember, uh, use that promo code YouTube one five zero. But uh, the Packers, Packers are they're two, plus two and a half. Who are you taking? Packers or Colts? Remember, Malik Willis is slaying yeah. that thing. And it's in Green Bay, or it's at it's in, in Green Bay. Bay. I'm still taking the Colts. Malik Willis it looked like garbage. Uh, I think he's going to have a very oh, very rough game. I yeah, I think the Colts win this one. Yeah, I think the Colts do as well, and there's some good ones to choose from. But let's go to the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like our report that much, to be honest. Makes me yeah, sad. I, I mean, Jordan Addison is out. Um, not great. We had him, you know, he lit it up was, last year. <laughs> the huge reason we beat him last year. Uh, the play where he, stri- you know, clicked an interception, he pulled it away from the defender, got it, scored at the end of the half. That was beautiful. Uh, not having them him there sucks, but we do have Justin Jefferson this time, which we didn't have before. Uh, Ginkles is weird. Nothing's listed. Like his no, he's done. No, he's off. He's good. Oh, he's just off it. Okay. All right. Uh, Brad Perry was a full participant. Naylor was a full. Harrison Smith was limited. He is questionable. Brian O'Neill was limited. He is questionable. Gilmore did not uh, participate, but no uh, designation there. And Ingram was limited. And he's questionable. So we got three guys, three starters. Uh, questionable status. So, yeah, I mean, so Addison's out. We got to remember that he was a big part of it, but so was TJ Hawkinson. So TJ Hawkinson, two of the guys that pretty much brought us this win last year are gone. I know we got Jefferson. So there's, those are some big ass blows. So I got to mention Hawkinson quick because we know he's out, but we got, uh, so Ed Ingram tricep. I don't, that one doesn't bother me. I don't think he bothers anybody. Uh, (laughs) for tat. Is his back is Dan Feeney gonna roll in there? But is it gonna be any worse? I'm sorry, he's not he's probably not gonna be any worse. So Ed Ingram, we'll see what happens there with the tricep. The big one out of this is Brian O'Neill. Yeah. Nick Bo- Bosa, it, we need Brian O'Neill. Those two outside tackles are our bread and butter. There are PB and J for this offensive line. O'Neill can't he can't be out. No, Darnold has to be comfortable in this game. He cannot feel the rest. He cannot get happy feet, cannot start feeling heat when it's not there. He needs to be protected, and for that to happen, Brian O'Neill has to play in this game. And Harrison Smith, we all want Harrison Smith to play. I would expect him to play, but if he yeah. didn't, we're, we we got a lot of guys back there. I mean, we got Metellus, we got Bynum, we got Theo Jack. We got, it, it would hurt a little bit, but Brian mm-hmm. O'Neill is the name to watch for me. Yeah, absolutely. And again, it's a questionable status, so it's not like it's, you know, most of these guys who are questionable end up playing. I'm questionable if I'm going to have over 11 beers on Sunday. Wow. Wow. We'll see. Yeah. Usually happens. Usually happens. So, yeah, big news. McCaffrey out and then some bigger names on the Vikings list. So let us know how you're feeling about the final injury report. Remember, this is brought to you by BetUS. Head over there. 
Use that promo code YouTube150. Remember this, Mickey Mouse was the first non-human to win an Oscar. <laughs>